to work on the new lose new user web page so um, this web page is called new user what have I done so um, let's take a look at the code to produce new user um, so that's this new user .php. so I'm using blade all blade does is if you use double um, squiggle brackets and close with double squiggle brackets that's the same as echo question or sorry bracket PHP echo all that crap and then close the tag so double squiggle, squiggle brackets is a great way to just be able to shorten up your text so um, in this window it's, um, it's a little bit long because we, we're asking for a lot of information but let's start at the top here um, you open uh, the new form called new user I check to see if any errors happen and if so I say oh some kind of error happened so this is an if statement um, then I have username and one of the first things that I do is I say um, if the errors if username is in the errors then echo some information about that error um, and then we we put out the username uh, form now I haven't done this input old on every one of them but what's really cool about this input old and I'll show you where else this lies basically if if this page has come back from a redirect right if if someone has if we have done a validation and found that there were some problems it'll spin it back to this page and it'll print in here as the default value whatever you typed in last time so you don't have to retype it as a new user um, so I do you know I have all of these things first name last name emails another one that I have some errors on so you see that if if there's an email error print something about emails and the only other one I have some errors on is uh, the password field and so on the password I say hey if there's any password errors print those out so where do those get calculated well that's gonna be right back in the routes so what we're looking at now is a view you can see it's application views I need to go back to routes and see how I'm dealing with this new user stuff so um, if someone goes to new user we just return the view that I just showed you pages new user okay but after they hit submit all of this junk happens here first thing I do is I input all the all the inputs that anyone has given um, this is potentially dangerous they, they encourage you not to use the all command but I'm kinda lazy here so I'm gonna go ahead and grab them all then I make my rules I say well the username has to be required has to be unique in the users table it has to make sure nobody else has used it before password is required and has to be confirmed I'll show you how I did that confirmed in a second and the email um, has to be unique has to be in the form of an email and it's required uh, you can write these in any order apparently so I do the validation I say okay well check that validation on the inputs and according to my rules if it fails and here's where the cool business happens if it fails then what we have is redirect back to the page with the input that they gave so that's how that input old works but also with any errors that came about from the validation if it doesn't fail meaning it passed then I hash the password so I make it a, a an encrypted password and I save the username password first name last name email institution all of this junk and then I save it to the database so that's kinda cool um, so let me show you what it looks like in action Oh, one last thing I want to talk about if you want to use this confirmed um, uh, rule you have to make sure that your form has um, not just password but also another one called password underscore confirmation so it needs both password and password confirmation by the way take a look at how these labels work the label um, needs to be told what field it's connected to and any text you, you want to put above it and then the text and then the text box is going to be given by uh, of course the same name so let's take a look at it in action so this is what the page looks like and a runquist is a user that I've already um, tried uh, that I have successfully submitted so if I execute this um, this is just on my local machine it comes back and it says hey some kind of error happened so that's that first if and the username says the username has already been taken so it clearly must have queried the database to find that out down here an email says hey the email is required so let me put in uh, an email that's not an email like so and run it and I'm just curious if we get a different uh, yeah now it says the email format is invalid and down here I think on the password it's going to tell us yep the password field is required um, so notice, by the way, that I, these are all red, and they do that because um, this, this, let me show you this code here, the, um, all of these error things are in a span and with class error, and so in my CSS file, I just made those things be red.